Nicole Smith and Steve Kime from Blood and Iron Martial Arts. Today, in this mashup, we're going to pit early period sword and buckler versus later period side sword and dagger. Let's see how these two weapon sets measure up. The side sword is a very versatile weapon, adept at delivering cutting and thrusting actions. The blade being thinner will have less presence, meaning that a user will need to be keenly aware of feeling or fueling being applied to the blade in order to properly defend and attack to the weapon's full potential. The crossguard with the fingertip grip allows for swift and precise movements with both the false edge and the true edge in a number of combined ways. The dial of crossguard does not allow for certain types of false edge motions that utilize the thumb grip, so certain types of attacks or controlling mechanisms will be significantly less effective with this type of sword. An arming sword has a wider base and a thicker blade giving it more presence in strikes and manipulations. While this gives the sword less range, it does not take away from its thrusting potential, and a proper thrust can be extraordinarily devastating. A standard cross guard allows for all basic blade manipulations, with the true edge and the false edge, including cuts and displacements. The lack of a finger guard on the sword does make the hand more exposed. An arming sword was shorter, making thrust lines more difficult with sword alone. Now we're going to look at how these weapons are the same and different when defending against a downward descending strike. As a downward descending strike comes in, I'm going to come up with both of my weapons at the same time, trapping his sword with my dagger and bringing it aside so I can cut to his neck. Let's have a look at sword and buckler. As the cut comes down, I bring both of my weapons up at the same time. However, in this instance, I'm using the buckler to reinforce my sword. Once the defense is made, I press my buckler to my opponent's weapon hand to displace it and bring my sword to counter strike her in the face. Two steps to my one. <laughs> Now that we've had a look at the cut, let's have a look at the thrust, see how these two measure up. As my partner comes at me with his thrust, I'm going to deflect with my dagger at the same time I'm thrusting into his torso. Stabby, stabby, stabby. With the buckler, the actions are very similar with a few slight differences. As the thrust comes in, I'm going to displace with my sword and buckler together, making sure to cover my weapon hand with my buckler as I enter and counter thrust to my opponent's torso as well. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. If you enjoy the content that we produce and want to join one of our live online classes, please click the link below. And remember, if you don't put in the training, you won't get the result. Somebody needs a thesaurus. No, I just forget myself sometimes. You may be a dinosaur, but you're not a thesaurus. Just laughing. Huh? <sighs> yep. <laughs> laughing. You're laughing. You're laughing. Nope. Not gonna do it. <laughs> terrible, like Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Okay. Let up here. You'll feel better. She's <laughs> pointing at me with a sword. I'm not gonna let it up. Don't film it. Yeah. Well, it'll be a very amusing outtake somewhere. Right.